Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, though. There's a lot going on at you, man. Whole lot going on, man. And it ain't only in America. And it ain't only in Paris. It's a lot of people out here getting murdered. A lot of people out here getting hurt. A lot of people out here getting touched. You know? But the thing is, a lot of people not learning. Because at the end of the day, when things like this occur, you know? A model that I live by is no regrets. We learn lessons. You got to understand that you got to take something from it. People pop up on you in Walmart, man. You don't know what to do. You feel me? You looking at these people nowadays, and it's not to say that I'm with this discrimination because, you know, as a black man, I receive it all day long, you know? I always got to prove myself, but these people here, man, ISIS, you know, they really not putting a good look out for that race of people, you know? You see these people out like, now, nah, you're going to be looking at them twice. It shouldn't be like that, but... It's crazy. But you feel me? To get off that a little bit, <clears throat> I think it's time that we, you feel me, as Christians, and we, you feel me, as humans that got minds. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't really be closed-minded to the things that's going on in the world. We can't really be that guy that says, nah, ain't no reason. You got to start feeling where people come from. It don't matter. It ain't to say that you got to accept where they come from. But if a man is brought up in a certain condition and brought up in a certain way, who are you to tell him that he's wrong, you know? What you can do is set an example for these people. Because they out here setting examples. People that serve Satan, they let it be known they serve Satan. People that serve these other guys that are telling them to do these suicide bombings and stuff, they letting it be known. But we as Christians, we just sit back and watch and laugh and like, ah, they don't know what they doing. Do you? know what you're doing like if they outside looking in at you what a, what kind of impact you have on this world you know so it's like <clears throat> who are you to judge these people who are you to tell these people man you wrong who are you to pop up on somebody and be like man you don't know what kind of life you live in you finna go to hell where you finna go nah and nah you feel me to take two steps bike on you i ain't not here you feel me backing these people up or putting a stamp on what they doing because at the end of the day what's evil is evil you know but we got to start showing people what's good in this world we got to start standing up for causes you know what i'm saying people out here bad mouthing jesus don't you don't really hear nobody saying man hey man shut up you know you don't really hear people coming out their way to tell people now nah, i ain't trying to hear that about my savior about my creator about my father somebody get to saying something about lebron Somebody get to saying something about the heat. Somebody get to saying something about, you know, any team, man, the Patriots, whatever, you know. People are quick to go, hey, man, that's my team, you know. That's, man, that's my favorite rapper, you know. We out here defending things that, <laughs> come on, man. It's time that we start standing up for our guy. It's time for you. It's time for me to stand up. You know, it's a beautiful picture, man, that I looked at, you feel me? Where they got the four, five Negroes just sitting up under the little Monopoly board, and you got these, you know what I'm saying, four, five white dudes pretty much playing with it. And the big message at the bottom of that bit tell you, look, all you got to do is stand up and the game over. So, you know, there's a lot of secrets out here, man, that they hiding from us, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things out here that's keeping us oppressed, you know, as Christians. And as black people, I mean, as a human, you know what I'm saying? Because we all getting lied to in a sense. We all are getting fed what they want to feed us, you know what I'm saying? We don't get to go inside the kitchen and choose. We don't even get a full menu in order to be like, nah, I don't want that today. Let me get the truth today. We got to come out here and search for it. And searching for it, you can't just be running with people that barely knows anything. Like a lot of people out here are running with these people that don't believe in God, but these people never have read the Bible. So they automatically off-rip denouncing. They already off-rip saying, man, nah, I don't want to hear anything from the Bible. And they able to judge you off a couple verses that they heard from such and such, so-and-so said this or said that. So they run with that. And then you, you know what I'm saying, as a person that barely knows about anything yourself, no disrespect, are running with that. So it's like Jesus told us the blind can't lead the blind. And a lot of people out here just getting, you know what I'm saying? Taking on trips in darkness. 
So we got to start taking steps back, you know. You that believe in God, you that believe in that Bible, let's start living like the Bible tell us to live. You that believe in church, you got to start going to church wholeheartedly, you know. I was preaching the other day, man, and it was like, you feel me, I ain't even mean to disrespect these older people that I've been seeing my whole life, but I had to tell them like, hey, my whole life I've been seeing these same people in church, my whole life, you know. Now I'm in these late 20s, man, and when you look at these people, you really, a lot of them, I ain't here to say, you feel me, put a general statement on all of them, but you don't see no progress in them. It's time to make progress. It's time to take steps forward. You hit the gym three times a week for a year, you finna lose weight, you finna be in shape, you finna be able to run miles with no pressure, you know? That's progress. That's what you aiming for. So if you've been in church, even if it's only been a year, but you've been going faithfully every Sunday, you have to be you have to have took something from these pastors. You have to have took something to be like, all right, there's this verse that I can always lean on. Man, I used to deal with these situations a certain way, and I learned that I can't do that no more. Cause change ain't only seeing something and looking at it different. Change is actually seeing something and understanding why. It's not what it was before. You understand me? You able to look past certain things. You got to get to the point where you can look at your problem and say it's not a problem no more. So the problems that's going on in this world, we have to understand the Bible wrote and said that they're going to happen. They're going to occur. It was prophesied to us that all these things must occur. You know? Black man getting killed by police. This persecution that's getting followed upon us, man. We just sitting around looking, you know? You don't really see too many churches standing up, man, and being like, nah, man, this is unacceptable. You know, you see these social activists, people on Facebook doing all this and that. I don't know what to tell you, man, but I'm about to turn up. <laughs> and you can turn up with me or not, because one thing I've noticed in this life, man, the closer you get to God is a lot of people just start turning away from you, you know? So, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm ready to go by myself, because if I got God with me, I got everything I need. You know, but it's about time to start being examples. It's about time to start living and letting these youth see that it's okay to be a Christian. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to pray. It's okay to believe in God. So if you believe in God, let's show God that we believe in him. Because what if he said one day, nah, man, I ain't finna wake you up today. It's over for you. So you can't wake up and be like, I ain't finna pray today. That ain't your choice, man. It's a lifestyle that we live. If you know you need God, you got to show God. God bless, man. I love y'all.